So I uh, recently placed my order for the parts that I needed for the KTM. New bike needs new parts. So got some tires. I got a skid plate. I got my fan kit. I got a spray air filter. And I, uh, I did end up grabbing a 14th tooth, but I'm gonna probably hold off on using this. I just wanted to put it in my tool kit just in case. Uh, so the skid plate that I went with was an AXP. Uh, I went with the composite version. Um, I was going to get the KTM one. Um, this one was definitely almost double the price, but it offered way more protection, it looked like, um, on the upper part. So I'm going to give this company a try and see how it goes. I heard some good things about it. We went with a uh, KTM Trailtech um, fan. Uh, so today I'm going to end up putting up the skid plate and then I'm also going to get the uh, the fan installed and uh, we're just going to go from there. Just grab the spare air filter um, and like I said we're going to put that on probably later on. I'm not going to do the tires yet. Uh, the reason is I still don't know if I want to run a tubeless or a moose setup in here. So I don't want to go ahead and put these on and then just take them back off. So. You're almost wondering what the cones are. Well, the cones are for when we want to do a little bit of practice drills at the house. Uh, what we found out is, I mean, all this is just a big straight old piece of land. Um, you can do a lot with cones. You can make a little uh, trials course or you could just do a little bit of practice sessions, but that's kind of the plan. Kind of using the cones. And I also went with, uh, let's see, I also placed an order for some plow stakes. Yeah, so I got some stakes right here. Um, that way, it'll just help us build a little course um, for Keith and I and, and for the kid. That way we can all become better riders. I have a lot to learn on this bike. Um, I want to start practicing some slower drills. I want to get more familiar with the clutch, become a lot better with the clutch, actually. Um, I'm just going to go from there. We're going to get started off with the XP. Um, the KTM one just has two bolts right down here. It just slides up, connects into those two. I don't know how this one gets connected, but we're going to find out. Alright, so basically what you get is you get the plate, you get, looks like the two backer connectors. Bag full of parts, and looks like they actually gave you directions, which is pretty good. That's nice. I mean, uh, at least they include directions, but it's all in a language that I don't understand. Uh, you got some photos in here, but I'm thinking it's going to be pretty self-explanatory. Looks like these guys pretty much get bolted in the back, just like that. And it looks like it uses the KTM uh, holes, actually, in the skid plate. So there's uh, these two holes right here. This is going to be the KTM where the you take the bolts out of the KTM and it goes right here and you just got to looks like you just got to adjust this to whatever model it is. So gives you three holes. Should be pretty easy. So So on the skid plate, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But pretty much it's just these three holes. I uh I just mocked it up and it looked like that's kind of where it went. You're gonna grab this guy right here. Put him through. A little washer. And a nut. Now I usually do everything a little loose and then I dry fit it and then I'll just see if, uh, if it works. And then I'll tighten everything up afterwards. I always do that mistake by cranking everything down and realizing that it's not installed right. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to get some tools and uh, take these bolts out. And it looks like you can either use an 8 mil or a Torx. It looks like the kit came with, uh, came with a new guy. Same thread pitch, it's just a little deeper, 
So probably gonna put the KTM ones off to the side and use the ones that they wanted. Came with a washer. Should be a 10 mil. Better be a 10 mil. Yep, 10 millimeter. Right, let's see how she goes. Pipe's really tight. All right. Takes a little bit of force to get it into the pipe. But it looks like everything bolts right up. Definitely, uh, the skid plate's made out of plastic, so I think it's gonna be one of those things where you just tighten it up and then it kinda just crunches into itself. So. All right, so. I'm pretty happy everything lines up, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, tighten up the back ones. And it should be good to go. Uh, so the nuts are uh, they're that nylon, so basically you don't need to use any kind of thread lock. And you really don't need to go monkey tight. Just enough, just to snug it up. The skid plate is definitely pretty thick, which is nice. Um, I used to have metal skid plates, but they make a bunch of noise. And I always found out that they hung up on rocks and trees. Uh, so I kind of adapted over to the, uh, the plastic version. Just giving it like another quarter turn. If anything, it's just going to bed down into the plastic a little bit. but. What I found out about plastic though is the tighter you go, when you hit something, we'll actually probably end up cracking the plastic. So just go a little easy on it. Right, looks like it just goes up. Pretty tight fit. Like I said, you gotta bend the skid plate a little bit, but it's plastic. There we go. I'm thinking the KTM one's probably going to be an easier install. This is not bad, but it's, uh, it's definitely tight. Yeah, this beautiful thing, just tighten it up. I don't know why I'm doing it with a wrench, but and since it's kind of it's kind of collapsing into the frame, so I'm just going to do a little line on each side. Don't stress it out too much. Kind of glad it uses the KTM holes. So I think what I'm going to do is. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a stand now, just to push this forward, and it, it should hopefully correct everything, as I'm thinking right now. Just want to get some weight on the, the plate. Oh, why did KTM get rid of the things? Just like that. So I'm gonna loosen these up just a little bit. Just let it settle. And that's kind of what it did. The way the bike is uh, flattening out the skid plate and just putting it where it needs to be. Looks really good now. So, I have a feeling that first time you put it up, just get, you know, get it on the stand then tighten it up. Um, that way the, uh, the belly is flat. Uh, when I put it up, it was kind of bowed out a little bit. So with the weight of the bike, it's making it flat, and now I'm pinching these. And it should pretty much have memory. Yeah, so this is what I liked about this skid plate, was just this part alone right here. I was kind of worried about this sensor right here. This definitely gives it enough. You get plenty of room. Cut out. Protects. You know, protects this frame part, which is really nice. So, because this is your frame, if you bend this up and uh, kind of out of luck, but it kind of flares up a little bit, just protects this guy right here. 
And he's re it's really light, actually. Uh, on this side, you got a little bit more protection for this guy, for your stator cover. It just kind of protects a little bit more, but everything's kind of out of the way. It's a nice plate, though. And it comes with a cool sticker. <laughs>